In this video, we'll show one method of proving dead on a HV system so we can issue a permit for work. The steam turbine generator engineer wants to conduct a short circuit test on this unit. But first we have to apply the relevant isolations, including steam isolations, rotor barring isolations, and the electrical HV system isolation. An inspection of the NER connections is required as well as the connections on the generator itself. Firstly, we double check that all the isolations are in place. This is the generator circuit breaker, which has been racked out and the generator side circuit earth switch has been applied. All points of isolation are locked off and tags applied. So the engineer safely removes the cover and we conduct the test to prove it's dead using this single connection device. It has a test function on the end that allows you to test the unit is working. It's then applied to each phase in turn. So the first connection on the generator is clear. The second and the final connection. We then retest the instrument. Next, we turn to the neutral earthing resistor. We need to expose the connection here so we can prove it's dead. So again, we follow the same procedure as before to check the incoming cable connection point. So we take our industry approved testing device and we do the self test first using the integral function on the end of the unit. We extend it to above the voltage range of the system, it's 11 kV. So we'll extend the rod to about 20 kV test distance. Apply it onto the connection. Make sure the neon indicator does not illuminate. Just do it at a couple of different points and then retest the neon indicator. So we're happy with that. We can now formally issue the permit for work.